A very tense and disgraceful day in Washington as protesters tear their way through the Capitol building while Congress was in joint session. We turn now to Jarrell Baker with how local politicians feel about today's chaotic display. A day many in Washington will never forget when a protest at the Capitol building turned into chaos, leaving one woman dead. Pull them! Pull them this way! Never in my lifetime did I ever think I would see this sort of... Uh, lawlessness, uh, storming the steps of the Capitol building, somebody sitting in the speaker's chair. Some protesters were peaceful, but then rioters carrying pro-Trump flags broke into the Capitol building, shattering windows and doors, vandalizing what they could while lawmakers rushed to safety. This is not what Republican stands for. This is not what the GOP stands for. Uh, it is not patriotism in any way to disrupt the normal process of government. Local McLennan County party leaders condemning what they saw. Brad Holland with the Republican Party of McLennan County says Republican lawmakers plan to object the certification of the Electoral College, but the actions of the protesters interfered, taking it way too far. I think it's important to object to some of this process, and I'm glad they did that. I think that was important. That's our last democratic, uh, constitutionally based way to object, and that was right to do, uh, but not necessarily to overturn the election. I think it's more to point out that these irregularities need to be fixed. Mary Duty with the Democratic Party of McLennan County says what happened in Washington is the reason why both sides should come together. We need to hold ourselves accountable in our own communities for how we handle uh, governance. You know, we're going to have to find some, some center ground to actually hold our country together and cannot let the extremes uh, test us in this way. In McLennan County, Jarrell Baker, 25 News.